quite amazing, isn't it? Looking out over this valley and realizing how incredibly beautiful the world is. And possibly now to take a moment and realize how beautiful and lovely our lives are, and yet all of this money can't buy. All of this is truly a gift. And you and I are able to enjoy it. It's amazing how it's been given to us, not easily. The dying and rising of Jesus has brought us to the freedom. And indeed, Merton helps us know in his small book, No Man is an Island, through his poverty. A Franciscan sister shared with me years ago a beautiful quote that creation is the flower of infinite poverty that God poured out for us. This outpouring has continued for us through our year of faith and blossoms in a certain real way in Pentecost. Thomas Merton in his small book, beautiful book, deep book, rich book, you might want to read. <laughs> no man is an island as I greet you on this sunny day and share this island of peace. He reminds us that you and I are not islands and he ties together the beautiful truth of hope and love. He reminds us from St. Paul that we don't hope in what we see, but we do see it. We see this world anyway. Our God remains not hidden, not lost, but present in a way we don't see or find God immediately. We often do, though, in rich and full friendships and the beauty of Eucharist and the hearing of the word. So our senses wake up to that peace that Bonaventure tells us, which surpasses all understanding and that we wish to go in the way of that peace. Our hope is in the one who is our peace and letting go of all else. It's quite ironic that the way we come to love is not grasping it, but receiving it. Much like hope, love comes from a heart that longs for another, for God and friendship and someone who would be with us, a, a very truth and beauty of ourselves that we might discover who we are. This is the journey of hope. Beyond what we see and have known so far, we long, we wait, we actively love by living each day. May you enjoy this day, this spring day, wherever it finds you, and may the fire of Pentecost continue to light up any darkness in you or our world so that our hope is placed, not in what we see, but in the one who's loved us, that we might love from our poverty. Peace and all good, my friend. Peace and all good.